Happy Tuesday. Welcome to another Live with Blitzy. I'm Katie, and I have Claudia here with me. Good morning, everyone. She is filling in for Megan, who had those adorable babies. Yes. Everyone has been asking about her. She's doing well. The babies are doing well. Don't know when they'll be back. She's going to have a little time with those little ones, but yes. Claudia has been so great in helping fill in for Thank all you. of the things that Megan normally does running around in the morning yeah. and <laughs> getting ready for live with Blitzy. Thank you guys all for joining us. Um, if this is your first time here, there is a chat over on the right hand side. So if you have any questions or you just want to interact, feel free to, to type anything in. And we have Emily who is actually responding and manning the chat. So Emily, say hello to everybody here today. Hey guys, I'm excited to be here and chatting with you again. Hopefully some of you might have popped over. We were just live on Facebook announcing a great deal that we have going on today uh, while supplies last. Katie and Claudia can fill you in on that because I think they still have the samples right up there with them. But if you are new, welcome. We're here to chat about crafts. Let me know if you have any questions and I can help ask them to Katie and Claudia as they go through our new products. Yeah, and so what Emily was just alluding to was our free washi tape promo that just started right now. This is, we've never done this before. No, this is a first. It's insanity because I think it is so adorable. You'll, we'll show you here what it yes. looks like. So I know that we have a lot of planner people that love me and my big ideas. Well, they have more products than just planners. They have the best washi tape because what it is is it actually comes in rolls like this like tubes like this and you get seven rolls in the tube and they all coordinate really well for each other so they've done all the hard work of like what's going to look good if i pair it together and we're giving away a tube of this to every qualifying order today <laughs> that's amazing yeah and you get to pick which tube you want we're not just throwing them into your order you actually get to pick which one you want so we're going to kind of show you some of the options today before we get into anything else get you excited all you have to do is use the code free washi after you ha hit twenty dollars in your cart it'll become free so awesome awesome um this one is still kind of in its tube but i'm just gonna pour it out can you try and get that yeah. last one there we go and then you can see this one has a mixture of florals and stripes, polka dots. I just, I love that. They really do do all the work for you. And on top of it, it's got like a nice mix of traditional, modern, and all of them actually work really well together. That's right. So here's another one that we have. And what you can also note is that they're different sizes, like different widths. So yes. this one's a skinny washi, and then this one's more of your thick traditional. There's a couple more skinnies. So you can mix and match and pair all the different widths of washi. So I love these. We'll just kind of show you more of the pairings that they have. Again, some more stripes. Got some pinks and black and white. Gold. Gold. <laughs> Lots of gold. Yes. So there's, as you can see, I think there's like... 10 different packs here of the washi tapes. And again, you get seven rolls, all for free, as long as you're placing an order today that's $20 or more. And how easy is that? Yeah, it's so easy. So <laughs> that's the big deal happening right now. While supplies last, um, don't know how long it will last, but... So get on, um, get on there. Yes. Get your stuff in that cart. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little enabling now and show you some of our favorite products that we have available today on blitzy.com that will help your order qualify for, <laughs> yeah. for this free washi. So we're just gonna kind of reset here and do, you have, do we have any questions on this, Emily? Um, I saw I, you looking over here. Uh, no, I don't think we have any questions yet, but we do have a lot of washi lovers with us. So I'm glad that we can enable you guys a little more today and definitely there's some stuff coming up that you will definitely be adding to your cart so you can hit that $20 in no time to get these for free. Absolutely. And like I said, we're going to do some enabling. And first and foremost, besides washi, what's another thing that people love? Any guesses? Any guesses? <laughs> Watercolor. Yes, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. We are in a love affair with watercolor. And we actually first learned about peerless watercolors when we were doing our Black Friday sales as far as yes. bringing it on to Blitzy. And we fell in love with these and are bringing them back for you today because 
they're very unique. They are so unique and you'll see how easy they are to work with, which watercolor, while it's really trending, it still can be a little intimidating if you've never done it. Um, but this is a great product that makes it really easy to get started. Claudia was busy yesterday. Yes, I'm hooked. Yes, <laughs> having fun with the watercolors. But we thought, what better way to teach you guys about Peerless watercolors than having Chris from the company here to tell you all about it. So we're going to Skype her in right now, and she's going to. we're just going to have a Q&A back and forth with her and learn all about the Peerless watercolors. So let me get her on the line really quick. And Emily, you can be taking questions too throughout if anyone is curious if, once they start hearing about the watercolors. I'm going to hang up and try again. Hold on. Let's see what's going on. We can actually move on and go yeah, in reverse to, if you want. Um, sure, I can start to show um, what these watercolors can do, actually. So okay. I will grab... I think I grabbed everything yes. for you. I just need some... So, oh, sorry. I don't want to... I, I put this and I don't want to reveal yeah. your project quite yet. So the Peerless watercolors, they actually come in a little booklet just like this, which is really unique. And they <clears throat> it's really nice because they have a whole kind of explanation on the history of the company and just how long it's been around. It's um, very traditional. The descriptions are really lovely. They kind of really go into um, what each color can do and kind of what it represents. So that's nice. Yeah, and these are transparent watercolors. They have a booklet, and then there's also a bonus pack, which we have both on sale today. And so you took this booklet and kind of made a swatch, correct? No, actually, I, so this is the, the bonus pack. Oh, is it? it so is. you made it yeah. out of the bonus pack. Yes. Okay. So the bonus pack comes, um, all of the little uh, swatches are kind of just piled up in order, and it's got a little list in there that tells you which colors what is which. And I, um, there's a lot of different ways that people like to store these. Um, because they are so reactive with water, you kind of want to keep them on something plastic. And you definitely don't want to have paper between them because then if they get wet, they'll just stick to one another and that, that's not good. So I, in a pinch, just used these sleeves and stuck the colors on. And I haven't had a chance to, but I wanted to write the names up here so that I know which colors they are. Um, but yeah, you, I've seen a couple of different uh, methods. People use like four by six albums that they can tuck it into. Um, just something to keep them from sticking to one another. So that's, that's what I did. Very smart. So can you use it, do you think, right out of this? Or is it smarter to... No, you definitely can. I, I think that um, if you... The, the thing about it being in the book is... I would pull it out just so you can see here how I used a little bit of this yesterday and when I closed the book, it got, it, on, there, it got yeah. on there and it, it's fine. It's not an issue so long as it, I didn't want it to stick to each other. So um, it's up to you, but this is kind of a nice way to have it all organized and then you can know, you know which colors are yeah. where. And if you don't want to cut these apart, you can also just get a sleeve where this fits yeah. in there. I love how vibrant these colors are. They're, they're very saturated. Very yes, saturated. Su super bright. Very cool. I'm gonna try Chris again. Let's see. Let's fingers crossed. Let's see if she's if she's available. We tested before we went live, make sure it was working, so I 
had some good questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it from the expert herself. I'm actually... Can you grab some watercolor paper, maybe? Sorry. I think there's some on my desk. On Kate's desk. Maybe her cat took over. I was going to say, <laughs> we found out she had a cat. I was like, maybe the cat spilled <laughs> something. When we were testing earlier, her, her cat made an appearance. I'm like, she's like, sorry. I'm like, no, we love cats. You <laughs> can show us your cat. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I'm going to... All right. Hopefully so she responds. You... Oh, oh, there she is. It says no video. Hold on. Oh. There you are. Hi. Hey. Sorry, I missed you. That's okay. We're here. We're live with Blitzy, and we got tar started talking just a little bit about the peerless watercolors. But we really wanted to hear from the expert and the one who knows everything more about these watercolors. And then afterwards, Claudia is gonna play around with them a little bit and show them. So. Oh. I can't wait to see what you do with them. <laughs> yeah, so all we've done so far really is talk about how they come, but I'm really interested in the history. Well, first of all, how how are you related to Peerless Watercolors? What's what's your background? Let's see, my background. Oh, boy. Um, I've been self-employed for a long, long time, and my initial employment was I manufactured and sold my own art rubber stamps. So I traveled around the country and sold stamps. And the Peerless Watercolors was my kind of niche item that I got to demo at all the shows. And I did it for probably 16 years, so I got a real good feel for what Peerless, you know, how they worked and, and just how exciting they are to show people. Oh my gosh, I mean, they're, they're like fireworks. You get the ooh-ah factor. Yeah. Um, and so one year, um, the owner of the company called and says, hey, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll this up. You know, it's a handmade product. Nobody wants it because, you know, you, you, you can't mass produce it. It's all handmade. And, uh, like, we can't get rid of Peerless Watercolors. These are awesome. So we worked it out, and I ended up buying the company from him when he retired. So I'm the fourth owner, and it's still created the same way it was created back in 1885. Wow. Um, so it's still handmade. I'm still... You know, working out of vats of materials from you know 1930, and so it's really a vintage, vintage product, and it's it's really fun to kind of carry it on. And, and wow, that's so cool! You know, you read that, but then you don't. It doesn't really sink in until you actually hear it from someone who's like living it. Yes. So that's, <laughs> and wearing it. And wearing it. <laughs> that is golden super yellow. cool. I'm making golden yellow. I can make about one color a day. Uh huh. And then, uh, so yeah, when, when it gets busy and crazy, I can't rush it. It's, wow. So what is that process? What does that process look like? It's it's colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, I just I, I soak the papers. Um, there's layers and layers and layers of color on one side, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, and you know it takes overnight to dry. So um, I make large large batches at a time so that they will you know last me about three months so I go through and I make each color probably you know four times a year wow yeah so is this at your house or where are these being made well I have a studio um in fact if you go to um the peerless color Facebook page uh -huh. I have pictures um it's an old 1920 red brick schoolhouse so oh cool so awesome so it made it, it it's perfect for you know a vintage company and an old school oh house yeah so, in fact, you can probably see the map in the back. And, yes. You know, six-foot windows. So. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad we've had you on because that's yeah. so cool. Um, in fact, if you ever ride, I don't know if there's anybody local watching, but if you ride I-90 on the way up to Madison, Wisconsin, um, we face the freeway. Oh, no way. Yeah, so you can beep and wave as you go. And then on. I've probably seen you. <laughs> you probably have. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, we'll have to make a field trip out of it and come check it out. Um, so, besides just the wow factor when you were demoing this, what provides that wow factor? What are the things that make this, these watercolors really unique and why you didn't want to see them go away? Well, their history is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the, 
the, the owner, Charles Nicholson, that's printed on each pack, uh-huh. he, he teamed up with Eastman Kodak and actually moved Peerless from New York City to Rochester, New York, you know, back in the early 1900s, and they worked together before there was color photography. So they were used for tinting, and, but so the coolest thing, I shouldn't dwell on history, but the coolest thing is the intense color, the vibrance of the color, um, it's non-toxic, it can't hurt you, you know, it's not like a pigment paint where you have to kind of be careful of getting it on your hands. Mm-hmm. This is totally safe. Um, it's really pure. It's it's mineral dyes rather than a pigment. Yeah. Um, which allows the transparency and um, you can mix the colors whether they're wet or dry. You know, if you say you finished your card and you're like, I wish I had a little bit of a yellow cast. Just put yellow over the top, and it's just you know they they're self blending. Very cool. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Self blending. What exactly do you mean by self blending? Just that you can mix them and they'll blend easily together? Yep, they blend easily and smoothly. Um, You'll notice with some colors, they kind of get a halo of color just based on the recipe of that particular color, like the um, sepia colors. Uh When they dry, they'll have a little outline of color, which kind of makes them magical. Um, They do look a little. Self-blending is, you know, when the colors are wet, they'll all blend together. Uh Um, And you can't create mud. You know, that terrible color, yeah. that mm-hmm. terrible name when you're mixing colors and you get brown. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't do that with these. I challenge people. I'm like, mix any color you want together, and it always turns out beautiful. That's what I need. Yes. <laughs> I'm always afraid of the mud. <laughs> yes. So that's what I need to make sure that I'm not creating just an, an icky mess right. of color of mud. So you can't, can't create icky with That's your awesome to know. <laughs> so would you say these are good for beginners and experienced watercolors? Colors. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I have, you know, through history, I had, you know, Jerry Garcia used the colors to create watercolor paints, and then he uses them. Have you ever seen the Jerry Garcia ties? Uh-huh. Those art ties are made, you know, from peerless watercolor paintings. Oh. And so it's, you know, graphic artists, illustrators, you know, moms, kids, it's really kind of a wide range of people use water, the peerless watercolors. Very cool. So, so, awesome. you, so if they order watercolors from Blitzy today, you have actually had a part in producing these for them, literally handmade. <laughs> I think some of this is from you. <laughs> that is so cool. Yes, I have touched every single one. Um, I have a couple people that help me when we get busy stuff the booklets. And, yeah. Um, but yep, yeah, it's right in here. So you it's just amazing. don't ever really hear about operations like that these days i think it's so amazing yeah it is it's owner operated and um so yeah and i don't think i could change it you know i just really kind of keep it true to its history i think that's great emily do we have any questions on the chat yeah we have a couple um first of all everyone's just loving the story they love that it's handmade um just such a cool story there are a lot of people, some have tried them, a couple of people scooped them up from Black Friday. I think other people are gonna be grabbing them in this sale. These definitely will sell out. I can almost, I'm almost positive. Um, <laughs> well, she's gonna have to make another batch. I know. <laughs> she only does it four times a year, guys, so if you want them, now is your chance. Yeah, it's time to grab them. Um, how, about how long do the sheets last? Like how much life can you get out of one sheet? There is, um, we typically sell them in the, the two by six inch squares. So if you take that larger square, um, there's almost as much paint in that as there is in one of the tubes of watercolor paints. So there's, it's very, very concentrated, mm-hmm. um, especially if you're card makers, journalers, and you have a small canvas. Yeah. They'll last you years and years and years, and they'll never wear out, they never dry up. I have a set from 1902 that I still use, and it still what? matches the color that I make today. It's That's great. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> I, I get people call me and they say, "I found my grandpa's old, you know, set from 1920," and I'm like, "Use it. <laughs> it's still good." <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Any other questions, Emily? Um, how many? I know that there's the regular, and then there's an extension pack. How many colors does it come in total? Um, how many are in this booklet? Do you know? That booklet has 15 colors. Okay, so there's 15. 
of the two by six, two and a half by six, is that what it was? Yeah, of that's these. a full size sheet. And then and there's the bonus spectrum. pack that has... Red, orange, yellow, green, blue in there. Yeah, the bonus pack has 40 in it. Correct. So 15 yep. plus 40. Yeah, 55 <laughs> stock colors. And... Cool. Any other questions from the chat? Um, I think they're just ready to definitely see it in action. Um, sure. I know Claudia's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, no. No pressure at all. Um, I know that uh, when we were doing selling these over Black Friday, Megan Jr. from our office, she's an <laughs> artist here, and she was making her own little palettes, just cutting off little corners of it and making palettes of it to use. So you can just cut little corners of it mm -hmm. and use it that way, or the swatch that you were showing us like this on the plastic as well. But what is the best way for people to kind of store these once they have the pack? There, Are there lots of, there's lots of ways, right? Hurt the, what? There's lots of ways, right? There's lots of ways. <laughs> I was just at an art retreat over the weekend, and it was just so amazing to walk around and see. Everybody was using them. It was mm -hmm. kind of fun. Um, and it was fun to see. Some people slipped them in envelopes. Some people put them in you know, journals with one color per page so they could, you know, flip through them. Um, a lot of people are taking a larger sheet, folding it in half and putting little slivers of the colors on one big sheet. Mm -hmm. um, but just keep them out of direct sunlight, keep them away from water. Um, and those are about the only rules. So. Very cool. And there's, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos of people out there and what they're doing once they get them as well. So yeah. that's cool. Yeah, I'd say use... Do whatever works best for your artistic style. Exactly. Do you have anything else you want to share before we get into Claudia doing a little demo? I'm, I'm, I'm just eager to see it too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us, Chris. Thank you. I'm gonna, I yeah, I will I will time. wave when I pass the, the red brick schoolhouse the next time I come by. <laughs> or maybe we'll make a stop over yeah. there. So. Don't forget to beep. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have fun. We'll talk Bye. soon. All right. That was amazing. That's it's so cool to see where all this stuff comes from. It really is. I Like I said, like you read these things, but until you actually kind of hear the person that's most, most close to it and involved, you don't get the magnitude of just how cool this is. You guys saw she is in her studio yeah. hand making these. And she's so passionate about it, it makes you want to yeah. you know, try them. So we've linked this pack below as well as the bonus pack make it really easy for you. And our new cool feature, you can scroll down and see the products and keep the video nice. going too, so you won't miss a thing. So Claudia, you had some time to play with these watercolors. Yes. Let's talk. Okay, so I brought, or I had, excuse me, I had Megan um, um, Jr. bring me some watercolor paper here. So I'm not really gonna do any kind of um, formal painting. I'm just gonna show you how these work. So, I'm actually going to use what we're going to talk about later. Okay, so... Yeah, the, we're going to talk about these brushes a little bit more next, but they're amazing also. Um, so, they're, the way... I played around with them yesterday, and I actually liked um, this method the best for myself, but you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. I actually add a little bit of water to the paper first. It kind of helps to blend the color um, more easily, but you don't have to. You can go directly from water to um, the swatch and then to paper, but I'll show you. So these are so concentrated that you just have to grab a tiny bit and you can see oh. just how saturated that is with very minimal effort and minimal color from the swatch. So you can see how these will have a long life because a little goes a really, really long way. And then to touch on what um, Chris had said about you can't make mud, I'm going to mix a color that you probably wouldn't normally do. So like, let's see, if you put some of a red in there, you expect this to kind of blend together and turn into a, a mucky color, but it really doesn't. It really kind of complements it. It brings out um, the shade it turns a little darker but it definitely doesn't turn you don't have that just brown gross mud yeah. at all that's so cool 
And what's really awesome is that you just you can just keep adding water and it just creates, you know, a wash. Um, so if it's too saturated, you can just add water. Um, for card making, so I'm going to show you, um, or actually, really quick, I'll show you. So there's, there's some scissors down there. Um, Katie had mentioned and that Megan had done this before. And if you have a palette that you're um, working off of, you can actually put that in one of the little um, sections of your palette. And then just if you're going to do like a large area or a lot, um, like a large area color wash, you can just put this on your palette and add water, and it actually just activates the entire thing as if you had, you know, a watercolor palette packed. So that's great to work with. Um, and then I'll show you. And the, also, what I love about the bonus pack is that when they're all dry on here, all the swatches, a lot of them look really similar. I was like, these colors can't be any different than like these. These look the same. They do look similar. <laughs> you know, I was like, these can't be very different. But when you actually go in there and test them out, you'll see how different they actually are. And it's almost like a nice surprise, because you see um, the swatches and what they're supposed to look like, but when you actually start to use them, you see how different they are, even though when they're dry on yeah. the swatch, it looks almost the same. If you wanted to, you could even, I know you were going to put the, the color names, you could even do a little swatch of the dried yep, color. exactly. So you can you see put what a little it, card behind there so that you see what you're working what with. What it actually looks like. Um, but what I did, because I am more comfortable using watercolors in card making than um, painting with them as a fine artist because I'm not very experienced with that yet. Um, I actually just... Yeah, I like, yeah. I like the addition <laughs> yes. yet. Um, I actually just embossed with uh, clear ink and, and clear embossing powder. I embossed a stamp. And what that does is that all the little areas that are embossed... Um, create kind of like a little barrier there for the watercolors. So to get familiar with all the different colors, I actually just went in there with my brush and just added some water to each state and then just put a little drop of the watercolor and blended some in there and I kind of got a sense for how these blend together. And so you'll see here this beautiful kind of wash created from green and orange. Here's mm -hmm. some green and red, which you typically think is going to make brown, but it created this beautiful little wash effect. That might be my favorite part, that you can't yeah. make it muddy. You can't. <laughs> I'm always afraid of. Like, I, I'm always like, I hope that it works out, and I don't have to cross my fingers this time. I'm not, like, trained in <laughs> color, and so every now and then I make a mistake, and right. I end up with And mud. there's no starting over. You really can kind of dilute it down to its basic, almost translucent um, transparency, like they say, um, and then just pick up more color and... and work it out. So that's really pretty. I like how you did the embossing with the stamp. That was very smart. <laughs> that, there's a video yes. of that coming yes. soon, right? Yes. So you it's guys in the will, works today. So we'll be able to see very soon the video of this kind of coming to life. So very cool. Emily, is there any questions? Uh, I know people are really glad to see these in action. I think I even when we sold them at first uh, for Black Friday, the paper I think throws people off. You're yeah. Like, how do you? But like when you see them in action, you're like, oh, this is totally. I understand this, and you can't correct. Like you can't really mix the colors with each other. They're just gonna lay on top of each other, or there's no really blending. I couldn't combine like the blue and the red aren't gonna turn into the purple because they're yeah. not gonna muddy. They're they, self blended. Yeah. Well. They they will slightly. Um, like you'll see here. Like I said, um, I. Here's some blue and red that kind of turned into a little bit of a purple right here. But yes, it's not going to just completely, you know, turn into like a dark new shade. Like you really have a lot of um, leeway with adding water and working with it to see um, how much of a blend you want. Awesome. These feel safe for me as a beginner. <laughs> they really yes. do. I just, I think that anyone from beginner to expert would find a use for these and they last for so long because you only need such a little bit to right. keep them going so I'm loving them we have them again linked right below let us know again in the comments your your feedback what you're thinking about these and we'll have them available I think the event is four days or until they sell out like Claudia or I think Emily we'll said yeah. they probably will sell out since they are handmade it's limited quantity um, so get them while you can. There's YouTube videos out there that give you more information. And then Claudia has her watercolor video coming up tomorrow or yep. later today or tomorrow Probably. as mm -hmm. well. So 
Let's move on to these okay. brushes that you were just okay. using. Okay, yes. Okay, so these are the Princeton water brushes, or watercolor brushes, sorry. And it's a set that comes four to a pack. And right out of the gate, I pulled these out of the pack, and I was like, oh, yes. these are really nice. They I'm are. used to kind of cheapy paintbrushes that we have around here where the it, it gets... The, the the bristles, bristles fall, off. fall out yes. into the paint. That's the and first thing I noticed. I was like, it's so soft, and then also these aren't gonna break off of here because yeah. then you're painting and you're like, oh, one of the cheap little bristles is in my paint now, and you know it complicates matters. But these are really beautiful, really easy to work with. Yeah, and these are true artist quality paint brushes that are going to be very durable for you. They're gonna last a really long time. You're not gonna get the bristles that fall out into the paint. Um, these, This set is the watercolor brush set. Again, there's four to the pack and we paired it up with the Peerless watercolors because if you're gonna get serious about watercoloring, <laughs> you should also get serious about the brushes that you're using. So these are amazing. I love this marbleized red handle. Mm -hmm. This it's really like you can just feel the quality of it, and then I think this is kind of like a signature look for the Princeton brushes mm -hmm. with the gold, the gold on the end here. And they just, you know, we love gold here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with the gold. And what's nice is they give you a really nice range of sizes in one pack, so you kind of have everything you need to get started. Um, I use like the larger one for um, the washes. You know, yeah. if you're going to use a large area um, of color, but these, it's even got like a tiny, like let's say I really wanted to get down to business here. I could have used a tiny, tiny brush for each oh, yeah. little state, you know, and it's it's really it's really great. And they're really affordable and it's good quality. It really is. And you get with the round brush here, the, the pointed control that you get on both of these, no matter what size you're going for, you're just going to have so much control yeah. with the watercoloring that you're doing. And it's not going to warp on you. Yeah. It just feels nice. Yes. You it can, feels you can feel the quality. Without a doubt, you can feel the quality compared to uh, as you know, I'm not like an artist right. who's painting all the time, so I just grab whatever we have, and now I'm going to be grabbing yes. these now that we have them because you truly can just feel the difference. As soon as it's in your hand, you feel the difference with these. They're awesome. Ellie, has any does anyone have experience with the Princeton paint brushes? Um, it doesn't sound like anyone who no one said it yet that they've used them, but you know they do agree. The tools make all the difference. Yeah. Um, so having the proper tools and working together, that's gonna just make that difference in your art and in your paintings. Um, they are in the same sale as the Peerless watercolors, so we just made it super easy for you to get everything you need. That was so nice of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Marisha is joining us. She says she's used them and they're amazing. She, she has. Might, I think she might have gotten to try them out when she was in the office last week. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that might be the, she made me a card. Yeah. With some of her hand lettering. She might have been using these. But I just wanted to point out that you get four brushes in this set and I've got all of the info right here. There's the round number two, which is right here. Then there's, or no, sorry, the round number two, the round number six, and then you get a quarter inch stroke brush for your strokes, and then you get a um, half inch wash. Mm -hmm. So like you said, you like yeah. to use this larger one for your washes, it's perfect. So you, again, you get everything that you need to really get started with all the different techniques that you're gonna use for watercoloring. I know we're used to kind of like the paper craft side of things where right. the tools are for kind of just they're a different quality. Yes. These are really your, a fine art set, so it's and, a higher quality. And it's true because you go to a craft store and you don't think like, uh, you know, you think I'm a crafter, I'm a card maker, I'm not going to go to the fine art aisle to get my supplies, but it really does make all the difference. Like I said, I actually use these, um, both of these things on a card and it's making me want to explore the fine art side of it as well because it's so easy now. It's not intimidating. Yeah. And you, it makes it less, less likely that you're going to screw up what you're doing because like I said you're you don't get a bristle in there and like having to right. pull it out and like start over so very cool so guys check out the Princeton brushes again they are linked below they're in the same sale as the peerless watercolors 
really cool items today. Super exciting. Thanks for sharing sure. your techniques with us. We're going to move on. We have Heidi here today who has some cool stuff. Our yarn correspondent. Come on in. I love that title. Here's some space for you. Yeah, I just decided that, that title needed that, that, to have it. <laughs> yeah. That's an awesome thing to have on a business card. <laughs> the TR correspondent. That's awesome. Official. <laughs> it is official. So what do you have for us today? Um, I have a baby blanket. Um, and actually, this is a good example. So this just had watercolors on it. Yes. And this is a baby blanket. And I can sit it on here, even if there's some paint on here, not worry about it. Because the yarn that I made this with is super washer friendly. Oh, so, nice. Awesome. So, That's very important in a baby blanket. Yes. I will say an experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've made a bunch of blankets with this yarn. This is the Bernat baby blanket yarn. So soft. Yeah, um, so it's soft. very similar to the Bernat blanket yarn. Um, it's got almost the an identical gauge so it's the same like needles and hook size that you use okay um but this is a crochet take on what you can do with that so i'm calling this the wonderland baby blanket because that seems kind of appropriate i love it <laughs> um and i like I, the colors too yeah they call this brown sand which is really yeah. it's like the most accurate color name yeah, for, sure. Sure. <laughs> for a yarn um, and we've got um, both the purple and brown yarns uh, linked below. And what's really awesome about this blanket is that it is um, made with just two balls of the Bernat Baby Blanket Big Ball yarn. <laughs> say that. <laughs> like, say it twice. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. I already, had, I already have to say stuff like slip stitch yes. <laughs> to make these videos. And I have to do like vocal warm ups. Um, anyway, <laughs> I digress. Brown cow. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, and so this um, is there's six lavender squares and six brown squares. And that's, um, they're really easily made. Like each of the big ball, Renette baby blanket big ball yarns, um, it evenly makes six of each color. Oh, so that's it's great. Perfect. It's the perfect size for a, ba a baby blanket. Oh, yeah. Um, and I totally um, had this in mind to give to Megan, but she, you know, was a little efficient on this pregnancy. <laughs> so so came a little early. <laughs> So we'll have to make her another blanket, maybe with the same yarn, so they're washable together. Yeah. Um, the yarn is crazy soft. It, it really is. is. I was um, even joking when, before we went live, I was like, my cats would love this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They would For probably, sure. Like, they would need all over it. all over it. it. Totally. <laughs> and, um, and it's washable, so yep. if the pets get on it, you can just throw it in the wash. Absolutely. Um, or if a baby, you know, does its baby thing near it, <laughs> on it, you're all good with that, too. Um, and then another thing, my mom, when my mom obviously obviously knows I knit and crochet a lot because her mom is the one who taught me. Um, she was telling me that a big trend is lap gams right now. Oh, So an really? afghan that's just lapped, lap sized. And it's been kind of chilly in the office and so I've been actually trying out the <laughs> lap gam. <laughs> yes. Attest to that. And so it's like the perfect size to fit just in your lap at your desk. Um, that's awesome. Or when you're watching TV or whatever, yeah. so you don't have to commit to making like a queen size knitting yeah. project or crochet project. That's cool. And so this is the perfect size for a baby blanket or for a lap game. A if lap you want to try that out. And you can roll it up and it's portable. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally portable. Um, and so we've got videos for how to do all the techniques in this coming soon. Um, and I'm also going to post the pattern on the blog later this week. Awesome. So, I'm so excited. Heidi only shot 14 videos <laughs> <Just> yesterday 14. <laughs> for Blitzy. So there's a lot of videos coming soon. So some, much yarn. <laughs> some of it are just quick stitches, but it's all stuff that are techniques that come together to help you in your journey for knitting and crocheting. So you can learn all about it from Heidi's video. She's an excellent teacher and just makes it super easy. And I just love the things that you make. They're so pretty and, and practical that people would actually want yeah. or like you could actually give as a gift and not be like, this is something cheesy that I made. <laughs> right. It's actually stuff that people would like. Yeah. Emily, did we have anyone with comments in the chat? Um, they are loving the, just even the look of that yarn. It looks so, I can verify that it actually is really soft, but <laughs> it just even looks just so soft and cozy. Um, the lapkin trend is hilarious and I stand <laughs> behind it. Um, I would also like you to make me a blanket for the office. Um, I asked, seeing if anyone is, cause you did film those 14 videos yesterday, which totally casual, so fine. Um, I asked if anyone was learning to knit along with your videos, because you're obviously, you're such a great teacher, and you've really started at the 
beginning level for a lot of our people. I know are huge paper crafters, but it's another way to get into a new craft for them. Um, Rochelle says, yes, she checked out the crochet videos too. Um, sounds like very nice to you. I need to learn more about knitting. Hi is a great teacher. Make sure you check out our videos. And Doodle Pie says she's been doing both lately. So even though it's getting a little warmer, people are still getting into the knit and crochet. And we just did a fun Snapchat yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if anyone in this crew is on Snapchat. I just, I'm the, I'm probably the oldest person that went on it, but I wanted to see what Blitzy was doing. But they did a Q&A with Heidi yesterday, which was really cute. So if you happen to be on Snapchat, check that out. Um, but all the videos that you do, we post them on Blitzy.com, but we have a YouTube channel where it's all playlisted out for you. So it's YouTube and our name is Blitzy Crafts. And then you can go to the knitting playlist or the crochet playlist. And then Hands Occupied is Heidi's blog outside of Blitzy. So you can always check out for more tutorials there also. Yeah, and YouTube really is a great place to check out um, knitting and crochet tutorials, specifically Blitzy's because they're so well made. Shout out to John who makes all of them <laughs> <laughs> um, and his team. Um, and it's just really nice with the YouTube format to get to pause it and rewatch mm -hmm. and rewatch. It's really like YouTube. I did not have when I learned how to knit as a kid, and I was always like pouring over stitch encyclopedias, <laughs> like crying because yeah. <laughs> I couldn't figure it yeah. out. Well, my best friend, I had no idea that she learned to crochet, and I just found out the other day because she was making presents, and I was like. What, how did you learn to crochet? Like, when did this happen? She's like, YouTube. Yep. <laughs> YouTube. I'm like, okay. So mm -hmm. there you have it. Yeah, it's just was, easy. Was it Blitzy's YouTube? Because it better have been. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm apparently an awesome teacher, so <laughs> watch me on the internet. <laughs> well, thanks so much yeah. for sharing. I think this is great. I'm like, it's really cold in here, so I keep just like putting my hands on <laughs> so it. so warm. So warm. <laughs> Um, right. Emily, I'm going to check in with you one last time. Do we have any out outlying comments or questions? Um, someone said they're not really knitting or crocheting, but they do enjoy watching Heidi's videos because she's very <laughs> relaxing, <laughs> which is, is also true. <laughs> that is absolutely true. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We had a lot of fun. We will... Oh, I'm getting that. I forgot. I have... <laughs> I have one more topic for you. This is actually just a quick video as inspiration for you guys. Pinatas have been trending. Yes. I keep seeing them all over Pinterest and Facebook and just lots of pinata crafts. And Claudia jumped on that. I don't even know if you knew it was trending. Have you seen it a lot of places or what gave you the idea? No, I was just kind of just thinking what, you know, I sometimes... Um, pick one supply and take off running and I was like the fringe scissors what 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 do you see that has lots of fringe and we were using the fringe scissors for <laughs> Easter yes. for, for grass and so yeah. hey why not make a video yeah. so check out this video before we sign off and check it out I love That's it. So easy. So easy to do. <laughs> that is also up on our YouTube channel, Facebook, on our site. So check it out if you want to see further, um, kind of watch it and pause it and see how she did it. But um, super easy pinata craft. We just wanted to leave you with yeah. some inspiration. Now I can sign off. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to jump the gun. Thanks everyone so much for joining us. Um, a special thanks to Chris from Peerless Watercolors. Thanks for making all of those beautiful watercolors yes. for us. Again, Today is your chance to get those if you want. We have the free washi tape happening with your order of $20 or more. So don't miss out on that until supplies last. And we'll be back Thursday, Thursday. 10 o'clock, blitz.com slash live. We'll see you there.